you want to dive deep into the darkest recesses of the human mind? Well, today is a total horror show. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sex Nerd Podcast slash Just the Tip with Dr. Vic. My name is Dr. Victoria Hartman. Today on this episode, we are going to get kind of creepy. It's unusual in the summer for the weather to turn dark, gloomy, and exceptionally windy. Well, maybe not the windy part in Las Vegas during the summertime. But as I woke up today around four o'clock in the afternoon, the weather outside had just taken a turn that inspired me to go a little darker on today's episode. Admittedly, some of these stories and paraphilias are grotesque and disturbing. So if you are of a more sensitive constitution, I would suggest you check out one of my other lighter videos or wait till next week. So if I've given you enough warning, let's begin. Horror story number one involves a woman by the name of Karen Greenlee. Now, what is interesting about Karen? Well, she really liked her men cold and unresponsive. In fact, from 1979, when she worked as an apprentice embalmer, this self-described morgue rat had sex with up to 40 dead men in their 20s and 30s. She is quoted as saying, the cold, the aura of death, the smell of death, the funeral surroundings all made her very, very happy. No man was safe from her. She raided tombs and funeral homes, hearses, and was caught, but not reported multiple times. She was documented in a film called The Unrepentant Necrophile. She was public about her unique proclivities, which she later regretted and disappeared from public view several years ago. She is quoted as saying, that's my nature and I might as well enjoy it. Well, I suppose she simply accepted her sins. Well, if I haven't completely scared you away from this particular podcast, let's dive in to horror story number two. In 2009, the controversial scientist Gunther von Hagens, dubbed Dr. Death in Germany, included a plasticized male and female corpse in a sex act in his body worlds exhibit in Berlin. The male was on his back and the woman was sitting astride with her back towards his head. The exhibit received a flood of complaints, especially given a prior controversy accusing Von Hagens of having received the bodies of executed Chinese prisoners. Von Hagens has stated, sex and death are taboo topics. I bring them together. Without sex, no life would exist. Talk about courting death. Next, we have a vision of corpsey obsession. You might be familiar with this particular historical event. In 1930, Karl Tanzler, or Tanzler, a German physician, met Maria Elena Milagro de Hoyas, a young woman dying of tuberculosis. He became obsessed with her as she died, paid for her funeral, and had a mausoleum built for her. Two years after her death, he removed her from her crypt and took her home. For seven years, he kept repairing her using piano wire, wax, and stuffing. Upon examination of her corpse, once it was discovered by authorities and taken from Tanzler, the examiners found a vaginal tube had been inserted to allow for intercourse. Some have argued that that's a myth. It remains part of the story in a prominent manner. Separated from his obsession, Tanzler used a death mask that he created as an effigy to Elena and was reportedly found dead 
with her effigy in his arms in 1952. Some people just can't let go. Now we're going to dive a little bit into some of the more unique paraphilias out there in the world. Acrotomophilia and epidemophilia are counterpart amputation fetishes. Acrotomophiles are often attracted to amputees as they may view extremity stumps as phallic objects to be used in sexual pleasure. Regardless of the ethical considerations, some people seek amputation for sexual reasons, seeing it as a form of body modification. The body horror film, Boxing Helena, depicts the story of a lonely Atlanta surgeon obsessed with a woman, Helena, with whom he had a one night stand, but she disdains him. Following an accident, he keeps her captive in his home, eventually amputating all of her limbs, her arms in particular, because she tried choking him. Though Helena is the victim of Nick's kidnapping and mutilation, she dominates him with constant ridicule. Now this film, was panned by critics, but it's remained a cult classic. So if you feel like checking it out, go for it. It certainly gives a whole new meaning to giving an arm and a leg. Now, when I was putting this episode together, I had considered adding one last paraphilia. <clears throat> it's been talked about, it's in the Urban Dictionary. Um, and I wrote an article about it uh, upon request from the publisher of Girls and Corpses magazine. After consideration and wanting to stay within the realm of acceptability for a mainstream audience, I think I'm going to forego it. Um, but if you're interested in finding out what this particular paraphilia is, um, you can message me on Instagram. Uh, and I'm happy to share it there, but, or provide a link to the Urban Dictionary description. But I think for the purposes of YouTube and their community standards, I'm going to avoid going into the last paraphilia. I'm assuming if nothing else, it, well, <laughs> it's piqued your interest as to what exactly it is. But I think even just talking about it is going to be a bit too much for YouTube. So if you have anything to add to these fun facts, interesting pair of videos. Please leave them in the comments below. I am going to put the playlist that I selected for some of these fetishes slash historical incidences. And with that, I will see you next time right back here on Sex Nerd Podcast. Mm -hmm.